development and resources resources are vital for human survival as well as for maintaining the quality of life it was believed that resources are free gifts of nature as a result human beings used them indiscriminately and this has led to the major problems first depletion of resources for satisfying the greed of few individuals second accumulation of resources in few hands which in turn divided the society into two segments that is haves and have nots or rich and poor third indiscriminate exploitation of resources has led to global ecological crisis such as global warming ozone layer depletion environmental pollution and land degradation an equitable distribution of resources has become essential for a sustained quality of life and global peace if the present trend of resource depletion by a few individuals and countries continues the future of our planet is in danger therefore resource planning is essential for sustainable existence of all forms of life sustainable existence is a component of sustainable development sustainable economic development means development should take place without damaging the environment and development in the present should not compromise with the needs of the future generations rio de janeiro earth summit 1992 in june 1992 more than 100 heads of states met in rio de janeiro in brazil for the first international earth summit the summit was convened for addressing urgent problems of environmental protection and socio-economic development at the global level the assembled leaders signed the declaration on global climatic change and biological diversity the rio convention endorsed the global forest principles and adopted agenda 21 for achieving sustainable development in the 21st century agenda 21 it is the declaration signed by world leaders in 1992 at the united nations conference on environment and development uncd which took place at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It aims at achieving global sustainable development. It is an agenda to combat environmental damage, poverty, disease through global cooperation on common interest, mutual needs and shared responsibilities. One major objective of the Agenda 21 is that every local government should draw their own local agenda 21. Resource planning. Planning is widely accepted strategy for judicious use of resources. It has importance in a country like india which has enormous diversity 
in the availability of resources. There are regions which are rich in certain types of resources but are deficient in some other resources. There are some regions which can be considered self-sufficient in terms of availability of resources and there are some regions which have acute shortage of some vital resources. For example, the states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh are rich in minerals and coal deposits. Arunachal Pradesh has abundance of water resources but lacks in infrastructural development. The state of Rajasthan is very well endowed with solar and wind energy but lacks in water resources. The cold desert of Ladakh is relatively isolated from the rest of the country. It has very rich cultural heritage but is deficient in water, infrastructure and some vital minerals. This calls for balanced resource planning at the national, state, regional and local levels. Activity Prepare a list of resources found in your state and also identify the resources that are important but deficit in your state. Resource Planning in India Resource planning is a complex process that involves first identification and inventory of resources across the regions of the country. This involves surveying, mapping and qualitative and quantitative estimation and measurement of resources. Second, evolving a planning structure endowed with appropriate technology, skill and institutional setup for implementing resource development plans. Third, matching the resource development plans with overall national development plans. India has made concerted efforts for achieving the goals of resource planning right from the first five-year plan launched after independence. The availability of resources is a necessary condition for the development of any region. But mere availability of resources in the absence of corresponding changes in technology and institutions may hinder development. There are many regions in our country that are rich in resources but these are included in economically backward regions. On the contrary, there are some regions which have a poor resource base but they are economically developed. Can you name some resource rich but economically backward regions and some resource poor but economically developed regions? Give reasons for such a situation. The history of colonization reveals that rich resources in colonies were the main attractions for the foreign invaders. It was primarily the higher level of technological development of the colonizing countries that helped them to exploit resources of other regions and establish their supremacy over the colonies. Therefore, resources 
can contribute to development only when they are accompanied by appropriate technological development and institutional changes. India has experienced all this in different phases of colonization. Therefore, in India, development in general and resource development in particular does not only involve the availability of resources but also the technology, quality of human resources and the historical experiences of the people. Conservation of Resources Resources are vital for any developmental activity. But irrational consumption and overutilization of resources may lead to socio-economic and environmental problems. To overcome these problems, resource conservation at various levels is important. This had been the main concern of the leaders and thinkers in the past. For example, Gandhiji was very apt in voicing his concern about resource conservation in these words. He said, There is enough for everybody's need and not for anybody's greed. He placed the greedy and selfish individuals and exploitative nature of modern technology as the root cause for resource depletion at the global level. He was against mass production and wanted to replace it with the production by the masses. From the box At the international level, the Club of Rome advocated resource conservation for the first time in a more systematic way in 1968. Subsequently, in 1974, Gandhian philosophy was once again presented by Schumacher in his book, Small is Beautiful. The seminal contribution with respect to resource conservation at the global level was made by the Brundtland Commission Report in 1987. This report introduced the concept of sustainable development and advocated it as a means of resource conservation, which was subsequently published in a book entitled Our Common Future. Another significant contribution was made at the Earth Summit at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 1992.